His road closes uh, in a bit. I thought it was, might be open, but it isn't. But there's a sheep up there. Here's some fuzzy pictures of him taken from the spotting scope on the side of a truck. Winchester 95, now that I'm an old fella, I can't, could no longer see the fine front sight, so I put a fatter front sight on it. Unfortunately, I measured it wrong, so I got it a bit short. So now I've had to lower this sight as much as possible. I've even filed the underside of this William sight so that it's gone as low as possible so that it clears everything. And we'll see if I'm uh, low enough. With 300 spitzers, that's... Almost 2,400 feet per second. I tried speeding these 300 spires up to uh, 2,400 feet per second, and that's a very powerful load. It shoot about five inches, four and a half inches high, five inches high. Not the best group I've ever got. But there's the X bullets, and they're also a maximum load at about 2,270. And that's a one, two, that's just a little over two inches, and that's two and a half inches high. So I put a new front sight on that rifle. It's wider, I can see better. Uh, it's a little shorter than I thought it was gonna be. So I had to uh, grind a little bit of that William sight so it sat a little lower. So I guess I'm now a TSX bullet guy with that, uh, with that rifle, that's a pretty good load. I have 2270, that's pretty powerful. So this is the new sight from Skinner Sight. It's a really nice sight, steel sight. It's a post. I like the post front sights. And unfortunately, I measured it carefully, but it is just a little shorter than I thought it would be. I, I must have measured it wrong. I didn't include, I, I included in my measurement the dovetail, and maybe they don't. Um, but you can see that that's a nice flat top post, which is really what I like to, to use. And it's a little, it's a little thicker than my, my Ashley. I had a really thin Ashley side. I could never, no longer make it out. I had a white stripe in the middle. I'm, I lost it on all sorts of stuff. Unfortunately, this, uh, Williams, when it was all the way down, was uh, still shooting too high because that shorter front sight. So I did some modifications. The biggest, the hardest part of that modification was, you see, I, I ground a little radius right under the peep sight so that it would match. You see there's a little ex extended part here where that bolt gets a little fatter and it has to fit under there. So it was binding if I tried to lower it. So I got another tenth of an inch out of it or so and I also, you know, took a little bit off the edges so that it uh, goes down a little lower. I could do it a little more, but I think that's probably good. Uh, it's five inches high with the uh, sp uh, spitzers at uh, 2,400 feet per second, which is pretty fast, but it's only two and a half inches lower right where I want it to be with those x bullets, which I think is what I'm gonna use for bison. So, I think I've got this rifle bison worthy. 2270 with X bullets, they only, they'll go 100 feet per second slower than the uh, regular bullets because they're longer and they create a little more pressure.